So many of you have asked me about my weight loss journey. Some people are just like downright, look, I want to know what you've did. And I'm just like, well, I've got some secrets. I'm going to share at the end of the end of the show. It's called Beauty Brave because it's just like they're 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 so much braver than they were. And like, how do we get that beauty brave? Not just from the lipstick. A mullet, but not a rat. Isn't that not a rat, rat tail? tail I was going to say, I don't not want a rat, rat tail. tail. I don't want to be rat tail guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Might be bad for you, Maria. If I come in and sit in, you're like, Kim, when's the last time you bathed? And I swear to God, that was the day I knew I was going to be a stylist. This is the Kim Rivera Show. Let's just go on and spill the tea. This is one of the realest persons I've ever met. My mission is to encourage every single woman. We're here to lift y'all up. There's no one more effective than moms. You mess with the bull, you gonna get the horns. I need coffee, I need Jesus, and I need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> if you can bring a smile to people's faces, why would you not? True confidence is knowing who you are and why you're here. Hey, y'all, this is Kim with The Kim Gravel Show, and we are a podcast. We are a place you can come and listen, hopefully, and be encouraged, and all of us together lock arms and level up our lives. And I'm telling you, every single week, I hope you get a little nugget. I believe you will get a little nugget to do just that. Today is a really, really great episode. Um, I'm going to tell you why. I've got one of my dear friends that is with me today on the show, and we're lockstep in our beliefs and what we believe about you know, empowerment and, and living our best lives and leveling up our lives. Um, so many of you have asked me about my weight loss journey, and it has been the most, um, some people are just like downright, look, I want to know what you've did. And I'm just like, well, I've got some secrets I'm going to share at the end of the, end of the show. Um, and it all goes back to this one thing about making a decision, and we're going to be talking to Maria about how she decides to live her best, most successful life. But stay tuned to the end, and, and you're going to get a little nugget about uh, my weight loss journey and how that all manifested and came about. Zach, wait till you meet Maria. You're going to love her. Do you have your hair questions ready? I have so many hair questions. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. St- we will be right back with Maria McCool. I can't wait for you to meet her. Are you stuck? Are you at a place where you know there's more for you, you don't know what that is, and you don't even know if you've got the confidence to step out to even figure out what it is? If that is you, pick up Collecting Confidence, my new book. I'm telling you, if you if you don't have a compass, if you don't have a true north, if you're saying, Kim, I don't know why I'm here and what I'm here for, but I know it's something, grab this book and read it. It's a light easy read, but I'm telling you, it'll give you nuggets and and reveal things about yourself that you didn't even know. It's not only just my story, it's our story. It's that story of struggle to find out what we're called to do and why we're here. Pick up the book and read it. Then let me know how you, you know, hit me up on email and social media and let me know what you thought about it. But let me just tell you something. You have a calling, you have a purpose, and you can walk in the confidence to fully embrace that call. I love you guys. And remember, walk boldly in your collected confidence. All right. Our guest today, I'm telling you, Zach, well, first of all, we need to go see her, right? I think you and I need to make appointments. I need an appointment really (laughs) badly. It's funny because I feel like I have a haircut I don't love right now, and I would love (laughs) some professional advice, but that's like, I'm already hijacking the interview, so... (laughs) Don't don't hijack the interview because we haven't even introduced her yet. But I but but you're gonna love this because she is a true innovator. She is the founder and CEO of Callista. She's a hairstylist with a salon and spa in Westchester, Pennsylvania. I'm telling you, she has over 75 beauty professionals. She sees over a thousand women every single week. She is an author. I mean, her book, Becoming Beauty Brave, um, The Bold Makeover, and she is the originator of The Bold Makeover. You know her and you love her from QVC, and if you don't, you need to. So check her out. Um, She's a huge believer in self-love. That's why, Zach, our messages, Maria and my message, are so aligned. We are such sisters in the sisterhood and kindred spirits when it comes to the self-love. And she knows the power of a makeover, okay? And I love this, Zach. Callista, which is her brand name, in Greek translates to most beautiful. Y'all, welcome Maria McCool. 
Maria McCool. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Love Maria that. McCool. Oh, wait, I can know. I get That's, that? You can definitely do it again, Zach. Yeah, do it, do again. it again. I'll I'm gonna do, it. have do a better again. approach with it now that I know yeah. it's coming. Maria McCool. <laughs> right. That's so you, girl. <laughs> You know why that's you? It's smooth. It's smooth yeah, as silk. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I love it, girl. I do need that. I've been waiting to. I've been waiting to get you on. Hey, I've been waiting. Come on, I'm like obsessed. You know, I have a. I'm crushing on you all the time. I crush on you all the time. Okay. Well, my hair is chicken scratch. Okay, so we're gonna get into that in a minute. <laughs> That's um, great. But, you know, Maria, you are a CEO. You're a businesswoman first, an innovator, and you are um, a brand owner, entrepreneur. And there is so much um, to talk to you about because you have this, you approach your business and your um, artistry with this self-love, love who you mm-hmm. are messaging. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, without a doubt. From day one, from day one. Like from before I even became a stylist. How did that happen? Well, you know, it's funny because you had said entrepreneur, blah, blah. First and foremost, I'm a stylist. I always, if I'm behind the chair doing somebody's hair, that's when I'm the happiest, to be honest. Mm. But when I was 12 years old, my still my best friend now. She was my best friend. I have two best friends from first grade. And oh my gosh. her parents had gotten a divorce and she was really not like, and in our school, that was very not usual. And she was not really. Sure, back you know, in the day. Right? Like she just, it was a downer. And there was our first boy girl party that we were invited to. And she. <gasps> Right, we're girl party. party. We're talking about it. it. Talking about I love it. Right? Girl boy party. So the it first was what I remember. Mine. Right? Spin the bottle. Yeah. So Did you spin we the bottle, like, Kim? Wait. <laughs> yeah, let's hear more I'm about prob- that. I probably spent. I've probably spent one or two mini bottles in, in, in <laughs> parties in the past, and I don't even drink. So I was just trying to get my kiss on. <laughs> So my my friend, my best friend Mary, was just not going to, she decided she wasn't going to go kind of last minute because she just wasn't, right. you know. And I'm like, no, 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 you have to go. You have to go. I don't feel myself. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to perm and cut your hair and we're going <laughs> to get your outfit and you're going to feel good and we're going to go. And so she lived in the little town of Westchester, like she lived in town and we were there. We walked up. I got a Tony perm from the little Rite Aid store. And I okay. used to watch my aunts give each other's perms. So I'm like, I got this. We can do it. And we go up. Her house was like uh, like they were the te- like three stories. Right. So we went up to the third floor bathroom because those perms stunk. And I'm like, we can't tell your mom. Permed and cut her hair. But to fast forward to the party. She was literally the belle of the ball. Like she was like, everybody was like, she was. Yeah. And I swear to God, that was the day I knew I was going to be a stylist. Because I was just like, oh my God. Like it totally changes. Maria. Now let's just, there's a lot to unpack just in that little (laughs) intro story. Because how old were you when you gave the first perm? And everybody listening to this right now hands up where you're sitting listening or where you're driving listening. Hands up if you've ever had a perm. Maria, how, <laughs> how old were you giving a perm? I was 12. That is like, I was 12 years old. Dang, girl. I'd already been cutting my Barbies for at least three years. So I so was Barbie like, was I'm your like, first I got client. this. Yeah, she was totally. Barbie was I your had okay. my little Barbies and then I got the Barbie head, you know, the whole thing. And oh, so by the time head. I got oh, yeah. to my girlfriend, I'm like, I got this. We're good. I'm fine. <laughs> I have, I'm <laughs> apprenticing for a few years now on my own. <laughs> we can do it. Give it. Give me them pink rollers. I'm rolling that mess up and putting that solution on. You permed your first head of hair at 12 12 years old. Let me just say, that's your calling and that's your purpose. When you're perming hair in your pre-teen years, you're done. That's it. That's what you're made to do. Okay. Okay. So so fast forward to now. Because you, like you said, you're a stylist first, but, you know, I Mm -hmm. see you as as entrepreneurial. I mean, I I just see you as this... Buy, you know, baller shot collar boss. And I think that is because, I mean, you sell millions upon millions of dollars worth of product with your amazing successful line, Calista. I mean, how many perfectors do I have? Zach, she, she has designed and made and innovated this this thing called the Perfector. I have the go, to go. I have the oh, one the on the go. Go-go. Love that. One. I got two or three sizes. I've bought a million <laughs> of them for everybody. It doesn't tangle in your hair. And with my little chicken scratch hair. So, so. When you launched the Callista Salon, mm-hmm. the salon, um, 
how old were you at the salon? I was 23. Okay. So what ended up happening was when I was in ninth grade, one of my brothers, I have five older brothers. I have a sister too, but I have five brothers. And one of them's girlfriend who I thought was, you know, you're younger. They're like so cool. She was in beauty school in 10th grade. Like she was in beauty school. And I'm like, wait, what? And so I was like, I'm doing that. And so a ninth, so what, I was 14, I signed up for beauty school, which was a big problem because I was a straight A student and they were not having it. And my parents had to march up there. It's, it's, it's a funny story because literally my father brought the Barbie dolls to the school, to the counselor. No. Yeah. In my high school, walking in, everybody's seeing. I was just like, what's what's happening? What's going on? But good news is they just, I love it. I remembered my mom saying, listen, yeah, we would love all our kids to go to college if that's what they want to do. What and to do, she's right. happiest when she's doing this. So we got to go with what she wants to do. So. But see, you know what? I agree. Your, your parent, and can I say this, that that. That was, it was risky then, but that was a little, even oh, yeah. now, I feel like we we, oh, we are not man. really leaning into our calling. And the fact that you knew what yours was so young, mm-hmm. I say that in my book too. I say, you, you, your calling has always been with you. Yeah. And, and what, what an amazing blessing it was that yours I was know. so prevalent and so recognizable. What has that done for your life? Like, you mm. know what you're called to do, you know, because you're called not to just cut hair, but you, you really have that connection with yeah. that that woman in, or that man in that chair. Yeah. You know, I think to just in general, like, like beauty in general, like whether mm. I'm making a meal or doing somebody's mm. hair or even wrapping a gift for somebody, I don't know. There's just something around the creation of beauty and making things beautiful and, you know, not in a beauty way that it's like, you have to be beautiful. You know what I mean? Like, but just where it's not like, a fixer kind of way. No, not like a more like a creative right. way, like, you know, yes. look, kind of thing. Yeah. How does it feel for me? Like, it, it's it's funny. My kids call it putzing. Like I could get up two hours <laughs> early and I'm like, they'll <laughs> come that. up in all the furniture's in new places. And they're just like, what is oh, yeah. You know, Oh, yeah. <laughs> everything's changed around. <laughs> and it's just like, I lose myself. And that's why I like behind mm. the chair when I say it's one of my favorite things, because I lose myself like behind the chair. Oh. When I'm with a client, it's just about me and them and what's happening. No, I was going to say, we got we to pause here with this because when Zach, you know, I'm always looking for ways to direct people to their calling. And what you just said, Maria, when you said, I lose, yes. lost myself. I lose myself when I'm doing it. That. that is a indicator. That, that is a red is. flag. That is a siren going off going, that might be what you're called to do. I had to take a pause because mm-hmm. can we dive a little deeper yeah. into that I say and that, what that feeling is for you? Well, first of all, I tell my kids that because when you lose a sense of time, when you're doing mm. something you can do for hours... There's something in there, even if it is video games. No, like sometimes with my boys. It's <laughs> no, like, no, I'm serious. No, there I is mean, yeah. something there's money in, in that there. now. That's a whole thing. Yeah, now. exactly. Big money. Yeah. And whether there's- it's technology, it's something, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, but that feeling for me is like, I mean, yeah, I mean, I literally can do hair for hours and hours and hours. Like it went, doesn't. I, actually, we know we do do that, right? When we do TSVs. Well, you do it's that the only all the time. Way. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's the only way. And and it, it, it comes so natural to you, too. Um, so a few years after you, you created the salon and you opened the salon, you decided to bring the experience to, to people at home. Mm-hmm. Tell us what your journey has been getting to launch Callista, the brand, on QVC. How did that all come about? Because everybody's wanting to know. Well, see, what's interesting is that I was a competitive stylist, right? So okay, I competed all over the world. And then what happens is is that brands kind of pick you up, right, to do education for the brands or whatever. And uh, one of the brands, Aveda, before Aveda was Aveda, I worked with, you know, Aveda. I worked with a a hair color company. and then I was, then I opened my salon. So, and I was doing right. that as well. And then I started having babies. So I couldn't do that anymore. Like I, I, I had to run the salon, do my clients and raise my children. So I started concocting products on my own when I wanted something different. Like, you know, when, when I just didn't like the first thing was embellish when I couldn't find texture products to work on Fantastic fine hair. Product. Yeah. Yeah. When I couldn't find product texture products to work on fine hair, I was manipulating the ones I had. And I would put them in a little pot. And one of the 
um, hosts, Jill Bauer, was my client at the time too. And she was just wanted it. She like loved it. And she's like, you should bring this QVC. Like, it's amazing. And I was like, really? Like you think, you know, like what, you know, and QVC being close to me was like, well, I could do that. Cause I would, with my little kids, wouldn't have to be traveling, getting in a plane, like it's still over. Be. Yeah. And I was a single parent at this point too. Just remember I wow. was like on my own. So, and to be honest, I was looking for ways to, you know, also do things more financially as well. Being a single parent now, I needed to do more. And so that's actually, she's told me to do it. And so I set up an appointment with QVC. I pitched the product. I had no idea. And it's the same with the salon. The salon became a very like nationally recognized salon. I wanted to become, I wanted to become a salon. I mean, a stylist in which I did. Then I became a competitive you know, and was winning awards and I wanted to open a salon and I did it. But each time I did the things I did, I didn't know that they were going to go. Like when I launched the product on QVC, right, I didn't right. think I'd be where I am today, being one of the bigger hair care products there, you know, like. Which, but you've been there how long, Maria? 15 years. 15 years. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> why That's do you think, amazing. Why do you think, why do you think you've had this success? Why do you think things have have happened the way they've happened for you? Because a lot of people, you we look at people like you and, and people say, oh, I could never do that because ba 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 or she got lucky. Or yeah. what do you think really, because success takes years yeah. and years of hard work. We know that. Yeah. But what, what a piece of advice or what would you tell somebody listening to this that would say, well, it's too late for me or mm. I, I wasn't that lucky? Yeah, it's definitely never too late. I think one is if you're mm. doing what you love, because you're going to have to do it a lot. So we just talked about that, right? Because you you got to love it because you're going to do it a lot. You're going to work hard, right? A lot. Like, a lot. Um, I am a pretty spiritual person. I believe in manifestation, visualization. I have vision boards. Like um, that, I think, plays a lot into like, you know, I think sometimes if you're not dreaming big enough, like... I, I think you have to dream. You have to shoot for this. I always say you have to shoot for the moon to fall into the stars. You know, like you just, I think shooting big. And if you fall short, yeah. it's still big. Like shooting extravagant, I should say. Because when you fall short, yes. it's still big. Um, but it's, it's. believe me, one of my struggles always is not thinking I'm un- enough. Mm-hmm. And that's the one thing that I have to constantly over like overtake myself and say, no, you are, and you can do this. Right. You have to decide to not believe that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to hear you say that because we all do. We all feel like we're not enough. We all, and and isn't it funny how a lip gloss or a haircut and color can change a whole trajectory of your life? Have you seen that with women? I've seen that so, we call it beauty brave. I call it beauty brave. Like it's almost my goal, my little secret goal. When I do somebody's hair and they get done and they're like looking and they're so happy and they're like, they'll say something like, I'm not going home. Or I was going to go, like they have to go somewhere. They want to be seen like now. Mm. And I think it's called beauty brave because it's just like they're, they're, they're so much braver than they were. And like, um, and so I've, what I've learned over the years is, so that's great when you put on a lipstick, like you said, you do and you, but like over years and years and talking with women every day, like how do we get that beauty brave, not just from the lipstick? Like, how do we just mm. get that from how our own we? selves? You know, it's, it's a lot of work, like it's awareness and it's, it's, it's continuing to accept yourself. Um, I used to say all the time when women sat down in my chair and I'd be like, so what are we going to do today? What are we thinking? And it would generally quickly go to, well, I just don't mean, you know, like I hate my hair or I hate my forehead. I don't want to see it. Like my nose is too big. Like I've got these Mm. big shoulders. Like it was just like the rattle of like, wow. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Like that's like, this is what you don't want. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it's like, well, let's look at these, look at your eyes they are amazing. Like, look at this, look at that. Redirect. Yeah. Like, and so I think we all do that where we're looking at why we're not enough instead of why we're enough. And like, you know, leaning into that a lot more, but I think it took a long time. I mean, I'm 57, like some of the stuff I only learned in the last 10 years, you know, but like, 
I think always learning. I think that's what it is. Always reading. I have not read your book yet and I cannot wait. It's coming to my well, door. Well, I have yours and I love yours. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, I love your book. Um, well, this is the whole thing about it. It's, it's so funny how it's so similar. Your it, Our stories yeah, and our, right. our journeys. And I think that's not a coincidence. I think we're all on this journey to be enough and feel enough and feel that beauty brave like you're talking about. Um, what is a makeover that you've done that has mm. really, you've seen the change? Because I know you do so many and you love a good makeover and I do too. Yeah. But you've made over people from the outside in. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I have to say, if you, you know, it's hard to pick, it's always hard for me to pick the one, but right, I do right. think the two that stand out the most, well, Shine is, um, that was definitely the most now that I think about it, but is um, something founded, it'll be 25 years this year. And it's money oh, wow. that we raised for the cancer center. And, and the, it started with, the first one started with bringing in the cancer patients, doing makeovers and them oh, having Lord. a fashion show, yes. right? And so the one that sticks out the most to me is they came in, we did massages, we did everything. We did makeup, like whatever they we needed, whatever journey. Some of them didn't have eyelashes, some of them didn't have brows, like whatever, wherever they were in their journey. And the one woman, we did a, a wig for her. And so she was that night modeling the clothes, you know, doing the little catwalk thing. And she got back. And everybody was cheering for her. And she literally took the wig off. And re remind <sighs> you, this is 25 years ago. She took the wig off and spit it in the air and threw it out to the crowd. And so that was probably to me, one of them, like where I knew she loved how she looked. She was so happy about it, but it was almost what Beauty Brave's all about is because she felt so good that she felt so good. Then she was like, here's who I am. That's what I'm talking about. That's what what makeovers do. They 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 don't make you over. They empower you over. Right. They empower you, and it's just little changes, right? Just those little mm -hmm. tweaks and changes from a professional like yourself. As you all may know, I have been on this weight loss journey, this awakening, so to speak, of just how to really take care of my health. Um, mentally getting on the right track with deciding that I was going to lose weight, but also really um, eating the right things that are good for my body that's going to give me the fuel I need to keep my energy up and keep my weight loss journey going. And that factor has helped me. They are the most amazing pre-made meals, but they're not frozen. They're not processed. They're fresh, whole foods that you get. You pop in your microwave, two minutes, you're one and done, and you're getting a delicious, yummy, good-for-you meal. If you want to get on that weight loss journey with me, this is the way to start. Let me tell you what I do, too. I have a little few little secrets, some little tidbits. I like to put some Southern on it. I like to throw my spices on. I like to zhuzh it up. I like to add that Southern flavor. And you can because they're fresh meals. They're not frozen. So if you want to try them, head on over to factormeals.com slash Kim50 and use my code Kim50 to get 50% off. That code is Kim50 at factormeals.com slash Kim50 and get your 50% off. Get your good meals, get on this weight loss journey with me, and let's do it together. So we've got to get down and dirty and talk hair okay. because um, you and I have had this conversation before. Um, I think we have the same hair. Yes. Meaning, I think it's, my hair is so fine. I have a lot of it. Exactly. But Maria, I'm telling you, and I use all your products, you've got to tell me and other people who are struggling with thinning hair, fine mm -hmm. hair, hair that is flat as a flitter, <laughs> tell me what we can do okay. to make our hair thicker, voluminous, beautiful, even with my chicken scratch. Okay. And you know what I mean by chicken scratch, right? right? And your I forget, okay. is yours have curl? Because I don't remember that part. No, it doesn't. doesn't it's okay. awful. It's flat okay. as a flitter. And it's like it's like five days dirty. That's why it's got any kind of volume. I in it all. Well, one yeah. thing I'm just going to say, and I, I don't want this to be as a pitch, but I know this for a fact. Because yeah. I'm all about styling, right? We've got tools and styling pads, blah, blah, blah. And then just a few years yes. ago, I launched Juice, the cleansing condition. I love it. I'm going to tell you, how long have you been using it? I'm out. So it was a while back. I've got to get some more. Okay. That with the Vitality Spray every day has transformed more of my clients. 
Like they're so like Lisa Gleason, Tara Tesher. I'm thinking of my fine haired ladies um, that are on cue. It went Trish, Trisha Sullivan just the other day. Everybody was complimenting her. And I said, how long have you been juicing now? She said, it'll be a year next month. I'm like, that's the magic potion. Like, because it takes a while for our hair to grow. Okay. So you know it's what the mean? consistency of it. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Like, got it's it. like, it's kind of, it's kind of We're like impatient. skincare, right? Like you have to like let yeah. the other stuff come out. So if you want to see a big change in your actual hair itself, right. juicing, juicing, juicing. I mean, the, the products and the tools that you're using, the Perfector, because it doesn't yeah. damage, I like all perfecter. that is so important, but it does start with the basic. And and I mean, you could say any shampoo, but the reason why juicing is so, it's I it's made for the scalp. It treats the scalp first. And okay. in all my years as a stylist, shampoos just treat the hair, all of them. Ooh. You can buy fine hair shampoo, color treated shampoo, uh, dry hair, you know, for dry hair, like all the shampoos tell you what your hair issue is. None of them, none of them do the scalp, which is really is what's going to change our hair over time. Just like skincare. You can put as much makeup yeah. on top. But, but if, if you, you don't treat the skin. Yeah. Okay. Well, Zach is dying to ask you a few questions. He I has am. been waiting on you to come on, Maria. I am. I was just sending you a message. I'm and like, just so you know, can I ask some questions? I really yes. need to ask Maria some and questions. I love, and I love doing men's hair, even though I talk about women a lot. Men is my strong suit because my well, my partner and my boss at the time, who's now my partner, um, was a barber. So I learned how to cut some. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. I, so I just I just moved. I just started with a new barber. I'm not sure how I love my hair, but like, let's put that aside for a second. You've got good hair, Zach. I do. Yeah, you've I, got thick hair. I do have thick hair. I and that's like something like my dad's in his late sixties and like full head of hair still. So like, nice. you know. Good. Thank God for that. But, but um, how about your mom's dad? Because that's really just so you know. Yeah, Unless you look is. exactly like your dad, then it. I think still I I do look exactly like my dad, okay. but still then it's uh, good hair. hair good hair genes for the most part. My mom's brother's not great, but well you know um, we all have our struggles. <laughs> <laughs> we all have our struggles. <laughs> but you let me like ask you though, seriously, like so yeah. as a dude, right? Yes. And for like <laughs> you know the women watching the show that maybe shop for their dudes, like. I don't know. I have like have no idea where to even start looking for stuff. I'm like, okay, you know, mm. now that we're we're on I'm on the show every week with Kim, like I I want to start looking a little better. I, you know, I'm trying, I'm putting more products. I mean, right? I have to live up to Kim. Um like I don't even know where to start looking and I feel like your stuff is amazing, but I don't see products for men. So Oh I'm, my goodness. So Zach, the first yes. product you have to get is embellish. Okay. You have to yeah. start it's embellishing. So good. Okay. You're going to use it on your hair after, you know, you're going to shampoo your hair. You're going to let it air out a little bit and then you're going to put a little bit of embellish and you're just going to slip the sides, do the top, whatever you're doing. But that okay. is an addictive product. I used to have to bring like multiple, I always had them in the back of my trunk because whenever I would go to my son's high school, they'd be like, this is my cool. Do you have any embellish? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a boy's school. That's why I'm saying that. It's an all boys' school. And they just That's right. Like, That's right. Okay. Does that give me more like body? Does it do like yes. kind of a styling? Okay. Yes. yes. It's like, yes. it's these fibers that adhere to the hair. It's a fiber technology formula that doesn't exist except for an embellish. That's and so cool. it, it literally makes the hair thicker, fuller, but it makes the hair pliable. So then you just get it to do whatever you want. Oh, that's I love that. definitely okay. where you're starting and you're going to be obsessed with it. Well, that's the thing is yep. like, I, you know, there's like, there's gels and there's shine and there's less shine and there's pastes. And it's like, I, I literally, I'm not even joking. Oh, two weeks ago, I went to the store and just bought like five things and brought them all home. And I'm Ooh. like, I know. And, and that's the thing. I mean, you could spend upwards of like 200 yeah. bucks just walking out of a drugstore somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. You yeah. know, and I love because Callista, when we when I created it, it's a very it's like I call it affordable luxury. Like, you know yes. what I mean? It's not breaking the bank, but it's definitely mm -hmm. luxury products. It's what we use in the salon. And the one thing I was going to say about the embellish, which is so fun, when you clap it, you see the fibers. And the more you clap it, the lighter it gets. So you get to control, like, if you want it really firm or you want it really light, it's daytime, you're just doing something soft. Like, it's this product that, you know, literally is... Like a chameleon, you can make it do whatever you want. It's customizable. Okay. Yes. It's customizable, I say. Yeah. Yes. I'm sold. I love that. Okay. Try it. I'm that's great. I think and that's And then so juice. Good. Definitely juice. If you don't want to lose your hair. I'm starting start that. Start juicing. I'm starting that. It's 
how you keep your hair. I guess I should Fabulous. just say that how you keep your hair. How you keep your hair. Because you want to keep it. That's it. Period. On Simple. Your head. Done. Yeah. <laughs> Done. All right. Well, thank you. That's so helpful. I like. And well, I've got a question. Okay. I've got a question for Zach. For me. Uh, should he get? Yeah, I've got a question to Maria for you. Okay. okay. Should Zach get a mullet? Because mullets are back. Yeah. I, I mean, I just gave my son one. Nice. Um, you know what? I, 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 I'm just, I, I'm I seeing such a one. small picture. Maria. of yeah, I, You do <laughs> have one. I told you I love your hair. No, I, can, I can hear it. Look, you can. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, Zach. You've Zach, got you great hair. Zach, you do not need do a mullet. It. What well, I do, do you know. just like. No. No, not full-fledged. But I do okay. think he can stay oh. tight and have a little bit of length right there. A little, just a little bit. But bit not a mullet. Not a, a mullet, one. but not a rat tail. Isn't that a rat, rat tail? tail I was going to say, I don't not want a rat, rat tail. tail. I don't want to be rat tail guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maria, I got to ask you right now. Like what, because you said earlier your vision board, what is, what is in, what do you hope for yourself, your business, your family, whatever mm. in the next five years? I think I think so many of us get to a certain age and we stop setting goals for ourselves. We stop um we either we've raised our kids, you know what I mean, Maria? Yeah, we've yeah. raised our kids or we're in the throes of raising it and we forget about our goals and our dreams. What is some things that you want to accomplish or do in the next five to seven years of your life? Well, as far as business goes, I have realized like how empowering my products and tools have been to so many women, right? Because they write us, right? So I really would like to... I would like that to permeate out way more than it is now. I would like yes. to see us in, I just see the growth astronomical. Um, and I'm not going to stop. I know a lot of people who've become successful in their second half. And that's my plan. Like, I'm not, see, I'm not done at all. And I don't ever want to be no. done, honestly. You know, like, I don't have to do 80 hours a week anymore. Hope I can, like, cut down there. But um, so I would like... Honestly, Callista to be a um, international known name. And I'll tell you why, because I won't say the names, but there are ones we know. And I don't think they're serving our beauty needs very well. Mm. I try to be nice. Yeah, and you know what? <laughs> I don't know if they have the messaging that you have either. Like how you said no. that the women sitting in your chairs and they always go to the negative. How do you turn them into the positive? How do you show them their positives? How do you turn them to be positive about themselves? Yeah, and 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 oh, that, yeah. and, and it's, I do think that I probably could be a therapist now. Like I do think I could yeah, just right. take a test and move right. on, you yeah. know, like I'm pretty I can't sure tell you, I do the same thing. Just, you just talk, you just that your facialist. I, yeah. I spill. I'm like, if my facialist ever wanted to turn on me and rat me out, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> uh, uh, right. That's a different podcast. Yeah. Give that could be an episode it's right there. It's a whole there. different. We're right. bringing I mean, you are a counselor and we're just going to spill the tea. All right. There you go. Spill the tea. I try to like, I actually tell my clients or like, I'll be like, okay, okay. We had our fun enough dissing of, on ourselves. Let's talk about the good because that's what I'm going to work with. Like, come on, let's. Sometimes people come in and they'll just be like, "I'm um, don't look, I don't feel good today. I don't. I feel old. I blah blah." And I'm like, "Okay, good. You just had your little two minute soapbox. That's gone. Now let's take a look. You're gorgeous. What are we going to do to make mm. you know? Like, and really sometimes it's the encouragement. Yeah, it's the encouragement. yeah. Like I, when sometimes people say that, I'm like, you do know that no one thinks that, right? Like you do know, right. you do know that every single person I know looks at you and thinks you're the most beautiful women, woman mm, that they've seen. Like, so you true. know that, right? We don't see ourselves. We don't oh see ourselves. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So you just we remind don't. ourselves, right? Try to remind ourselves. Well, that's why we're lockstep. Okay. So let me just tell you, Maria, every single show we do, we do a thing called rapid fire. Rapid fire questions. The first thing that comes to your mind Spit it out. Okay. Don't think about it. Okay. Just let let it come out. Okay. okay. Favorite hairstyle to cut? Bob. Oh, you do a good Bob. Pixie's, you do a good Pixie Bob. Pixie is so close, but Bob. Bob. Uh, what makes a Bob so good? I'm sorry to get out. I was so we supposed to do rapid fire. I, well, it was rapid fire, not rapid questions. So what <laughs> yeah, exactly. makes a Bob yeah, good? You're not rapid, Kim. It's just. Right. Yeah. The yeah. thing about a Bob is you can do a Bob on 
everyone, anyone. You just have to do the right one for them. And you can, even though you think of a Bob, like, but you get to, you can play in a Bob so much, like from a shattered Bob to a stacked Bob to a, and you can change, you know, from a lob to a, you know, short Bob. So it's a, it's a, it's a safe cut that you could do on people. Like you could take a long hair girl to a lob, a short hair girl to a little pixie Bob, like, um, so it's mm. it's kind of like I just find it very 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 playful, um, and it always looks like style. You know what I mean? Like Love there's it. a style to it. I don't know. It's got a look. Yeah, it's, it's got a look. look. Yeah, and you okay, have to be precise hair- with it. And I am a precision cutter, so that's the thing about probably why a bob because bobs you got to be like right on the money you got to be dead on mm-hmm. oh lord honey mm-hmm. i can't wait to come and see you. okay here we go past hairstyle you wish would come back oh past uh, oh my gosh um i i think it had but i mean i love the shag so more the shag sh- is back yeah but it's that's what i was thinking like it's back so yeah no that's good it's a good one yeah i mean just kind of, i mean it's just it's just emerging yeah exactly oh, i, like I shag. love shags oh, girl. love shags i, do too. I love shags what's, what's a, sh- yeah. what's a Every, shag for for the well <laughs> everything is old is new again zach there's nothing new under the sun yeah 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 <laughs> let's think of who 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 can had the best shag ever i'm trying to think of celebrity um mm. shag. Well, I guess like uh, the one from The Pretenders. I'm sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Chrissy Hines. Yeah. Chrissy Hines had a great shag, right? She Joan did. Joan Jett yeah. had a great shag. Joan Jett had a great shag. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm looking it up. I see it so now. So now you know. Look it okay. up. Look it up. Okay. 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 Nice. Mm-hmm. All right. Nice. Um, you write in your book that you love making things from scratch. What is your favorite thing to make from scratch? Uh, raviolis. Oh. Oh, good Lord. You just had me. <laughs> And I haven't eaten all day. I'm starving. Oh. You make homemade from scratch raviolis. Mm. You make your own pasta. Mm-hmm. You don't just get it in the frozen section. Mm-mm. Is that like a Christmas thing? That's a Christmas thing in our family. We do oh, ravioli. making yeah raviolis. Is, yeah. yeah, ravioli is a is a part of the Italian Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god! Yes. And it's okay. my kids' right. favorite oh. too. I like I, gnocchis yeah. are pretty high up there, but mm. I think because my kids like are kind of obsessed. I have to make them more than Christmas because they're just like, can we have raviolis? Oh, my God. Okay. I'm going to say that next time. Hello, can I have a ravioli, Maria? <laughs> okay. How often should we wash our hair? Um, how As often as you need it so you, you love the way your hair looks. There's no rule on that. Okay. I hate that people think there's Mine a rule. Mine is five days dirty. And Mine you is five love days dirty. it, right? And it works great for you five days Honey, dirty. Honey, I don't even have to fix it. Right. It's just fixed. See? It's just, okay. Mine is... But that's not bad for you? No, because t- it's now so different. Now watch my body more than five days. Oh, okay, that's good. people, I'm don't glad, start judging. that could be bad for you. I think that is bad for you, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody else. Well, and all it the might people be bad for you. you. <laughs> it might be bad for you, Maria, if I come in and sit and you're like, yeah, when's the last time you bathed? No, okay. No, it's um, not, you know, it used to be a thing when shampoos were so harsh. But they're not anymore. Yeah. So... Shampoos okay. are color safe. You can use them every day. It's not a problem. Yeah. So it's okay, really. Good. Perfect. It's good to yeah. know. Uh, what's something you think everyone should try at least once? I think bungee jumping off of a bridge Ooh, in Africa. Have, <laughs> have you done it? Have you done yeah. that? <laughs> yeah. I think everybody okay. should try that. Is there a uh, moment well, of terror when it's like coming yeah. to the bungee and you're like, no, it's is it more break? of a moment of terror when you first fall. Like when you, well, okay. for me, was when I first <laughs> fell because you're falling. And you Can don't know. Everyone wants to jump out of planes or bungee jump I, or like what's with I the do QVC? Not. All I want oh. is a homemade from scratch <laughs> chocolate cake. That's what I want. Wait. And the ravioli. I mean, that's my. <laughs> okay. You got to try once. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I, I, don't, I think there should be something better than that, but that's the only thing that just came in my No, head. that's fantastic. Mm-hmm. I would say that's a ding. I would give you a, a hundred on that. Okay. <laughs> if you could instantly learn anything, what would it be? Uh, instantly would be yeah. mm, it's tough between a musical instrument and a second language. Mm. Second language. Second language. Okay. What would that language be? Um, if I instantly could have it right now, it would be Spanish. Cause I think I would uh-huh. use it all the time. Yeah. Use it. You'd use it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what is your ideal way to spend 30 minutes of free time? Hmm. 
it's supposed to be rapid fire. I like seven things come in my head and I have to place them. No. Um, I know. Everybody does it. They start, they start trying to analyze their, on the answers. Sit down on a beach. Toes in the Sit sand. On the beach. Take, Take me with you. Yeah. Take me. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. That's Eating your ravioli. Definitely 30 That's minutes. Over. Yeah. Favorite junk food? Popcorn. Celebrity crush? You. I told you. <laughs> That's such a That's good answer. That's the best answer ever. Best answer it's ever. The best answer. Good job. Best answer ever. Okay, last one, Maria. Mm -hmm. How are you, beauty brave? Mm. I'm beauty brave because I strive. It's not that I'm always good at it, but I strive to take care of myself. Mm. And take care of my feelings and my emotions and my thoughts and my good thoughts, my bad thoughts. But I think I'm beauty brave, mostly telling myself it's okay. Everything's working it's out. Okay. It's okay and everything's working out for me. That's what oh, That's saying. how we need to end this. All right. You can find Maria at Callista Tools on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, wherever you have her social, and also on her website, CallistaTools.com. Go check her out. Great social content, a lot of tips and tricks, and a heart of gold. Check her out. And I'm buying her stuff. So that's like, she told me what to Dude, buy. I'm doing it. You don't even Let's have to buy it. it. I'm just going to send it to you. All right. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> Will you come back? I can't for, wait. Okay. First of all, Let's do this in your salon. Okay. Zach can come. Yeah. Yes. You can fix our hair and, and we'll eat the ravioli. Okay. And we'll, I would definitely, my house is right up the street and we'll yeah. cook it we'll out. do the ravioli. We'll have it but we're not jumping off of anything, not even a front porch. I'm just letting you know. Are you sure? <laughs> That'll be our first that on, the road, on location episode of the podcast. I love that idea. Not I even love like it. a zip line out my back door now? Won't do you I'm have not a zip even, line I mean, out your not back door? Even, <laughs> She would get one. <laughs> Knowing Maria, she would have it built for us. The answer to that is no. That's rapid fire. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Love you, girl. Love you too. Thank you so much. You guys are so Ma much fun. Thanks, You're amazing. Maria. I'm telling you, Zach. You see, I mean, like to me, uh, Maria is the real deal. Like she's living out her passion, her calling. She is 57 years old and still has dreams and goals. I mean, she says she's just getting started. She also gives us so many tips and tricks, even for your hair, which you have fabulous hair, by the way. Thank you. Fabulous hair. Thank you, Kim. Yeah. You do too. So, but that, that that's why I love doing the show. It's like we're getting a look at people who are doing not only just good work, but the work they're called to do. Can I just tell you? And she even says she's struggled with her self-worth and thinking she's enough. Isn't that a common theme we hear from all these successful people that we have on the show? Yes, yes, it is. And she is someone who, like, she took this thing that she was really good at and she really did turn it into this call and this deeper thing where she's, like, really working on herself, working on other people, like, really making it happen. But it does turn out, and the thing that I feel like I've learned from doing this show with you for this long is everyone deals with the same stuff. Like, even if you're successful, right? Mm -hmm. Like how yeah. much, how, I mean, you have literally written a book about confidence. How much self-doubt do you deal with, Kim? I don't think you can have self-confidence without self-doubt. Yeah. A little bit of self-doubt lets you know you're on the right track. Yeah. That makes you question. You're always, I mean, and, and honestly, I mean, I, I joke about, you know, me being crazy about Travis and the kids <laughs> and stuff, but it, it, it's real. It's so real. And I think I can't be the only one. I can't be the only one thinking this. And so whenever I start doubting myself or thinking I'm not enough or, you know, the negative self-talk that she said a lot of people, Maria said a lot of people sit in her chair and say, yeah. I always remember, I, I can't be the only person feeling this way. And when you know you're not alone in something and you know that, okay, this is a human experience, yep. then you can do like she said and redirect. You can decide, you know what? And But look, I have to vent first. I'm just going to keep it real honest with you. I have to vent it out. If I don't... Vent it out, baby. Know. What's going on, Kim? This is... This if is I don't, I'm going to eat a sleeve of Oreos. That's just <laughs> what I deal with, people. Don't do it, Kim. Don't do it. You got to eat no and Oreos. people always say to me, Kim, how have you lost weight? I cannot tell you so many people, Zach, has, has said, how have you lost weight? Are you ever going to tell us how you lost weight? Yeah. I've told you. 
I decided I was going to lose weight and I quit eating so much. Yep. That's how I've lost weight, y'all. That's it. <laughs> I don't know well, what to tell you. There is no, there is no magic pill. There is no, there's a lot of different ways you can lose weight. You can, you can get on, um, I mean, you can get, you know, you can eat the factor meals, which I have done and I love them. They're fantastic. You can take, um, weight loss drugs. You can do, um, you can start exercising like Amy did and, and cut back to nothing. I mean, she eats, you know, basami rice, but whatever it's called and chicken. That's what she's going to start clucking. Yep. Okay. Cause she's, she's start I clucking. mean, there's, there's so many ways to do it. You can, you can lose it over six months. You can lose it over two years. You can cut back. You could, my dad used to say, how hey, you lose weight is quit eating. You eat one bite less every time you eat. I mean, y'all, we know how to lose weight. That's not the issue. That's not the issue. You have to decide. You have to determine, I don't want to be this way anymore. And that's what that's what Maria was saying. She was saying she redirects her clients when they start the negative self-talk. And, and, and that is key. But I, Zach, I have gotten 452 messages about how have you lost weight. And yep. I've told people how I lost weight. Yep. They don't I mean, want to hear it. it. Well, and that's, that's what I said. That's the thing. It's like, it's it's so easy, but it's so hard. Oh, people have said, Kim, you're doing something unnatural. You've had surgery. I'm like, I, I said, I'm going to lose weight. And then I cut what I eat. Because let me tell y'all something. Now, I can eat. I can out eat Travis. I can out eat any man. I mean, I could sit down and eat two Big Mac meals and be like, okay. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I am, I have an appetite. And if you know me as a person, you know that's in everything in life. I have a zest and an appetite for life. So when I decided I cut my, just my portion size hmm. to a fourth of what I was eating. There is no That's trick. It. There is no, there is no, do you say, Kim, do you still eat a Snickers? I do. I just eat a fourth of it instead of two wow. or one. Well, and you, I mean, you also like, you were someone that you did hit the drive through a lot, right? You would do fast food a lot too, right? Okay. Let me just say, did you just did you just read my mail? You read in my mail, Zach. You read I'm telling you, I you know. I, now how tell everybody how you know that because we're close. I will. So every time Kim shows up on set, she's got some kind of a drink. She got some kind of a fast mm -hmm. food drink with you, and so I know you've been to that drive through. So yeah. here's the thing: like right. now that you have the stuff that's easy, like you have the factor meals, which I know what are am, so quick. You have wa what? What am drinking I doing water? now? Water? It blows right. me away. Right. And hey, me away. not just, not just, Look not at this. just one. Two waters. Two. Kim. So you're right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. I, I go to, I still go to the drive through um, not as much, but when I do go through it, instead of getting a, a number three supersized, yep. okay, I just get a cheeseburger and water. <laughs> so I'm just telling you, there's no secret sauce. There's no program you can work that's going to, it might, the pro, every program will work for you if you work the program. If you do it. But what yeah. you going to do when you stop working the program? Have you made up in your mind that you're going to do it? Yeah. Work, when you've made up in your mind you're well, going to do it, find any program that works for your personality, that for your needs, for your lifestyle. My, I can't cut out fast food in my lifestyle. I'm never at home. I'm running two kids around it, and we, we, I mean, basketball, and then you got tennis, and then you got homework, and then you got, you know, their social events, and then, you know, you got to run yeah. through the drive thru. It's, but you don't have to eat everything that I used to eat at the drive thru. Just, and yeah. I hope I'm making sense to people because I'm not yeah. a nutritionist and I'm not a person that's, that's, yeah, I'm not a counselor. I'm just telling you what worked for me. I decided, and then I cut my food intake by a fourth. Yeah. I right. went, let me, let me, let me put it in numbers. I probably was eating. And I'm probably gonna get a lot of judgment for this. I probably was eating upwards of almost 4,000 calories a day. When uh -huh. I, when, if I've not sat down to do the math, but I've done a rough estimate because I'm afraid if I do the math, I'm going to It'll not feel be that, in a good yeah. head space. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't do the math. So, I, but I'm just gonna say probably roughly 4,000, probably sometimes more than that. Wow. And then I went down to like 1,500. And do you feel like, is it, and it, is it a healthier 1500? Does your body oh, feel yeah. better with that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, There's you said in the episode better. too, you have to take that massive action. So that's the massive action you took. Like that's what you did. You decided mm -hmm. and then you took that action. And just did it. Yeah. But and then, people are wanting to know the program. There is no program. 
I didn't go and sign up for something. I didn't go right. and start. And I, I, I'm trying to exercise three times a week. I'm trying to walk or get my 10,000 steps in. I can't say I do it every day because I sit behind a desk a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm running two, yeah. three companies. Yep. I don't, I, you know, and then I'm running two kids in a house, which is another company. <laughs> That's another whole company. That's the hardest one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But Tell me I wanted it. to, I wanted to put this out there because I have had a lot of people, they've seen the visual difference and, and it happened quite fast for me. And yeah. I'm not saying that's going to work for you, but it was a decision that I made. And then, like you said, I took action, but that quote I read you, if the action comes after the decision. The decision is yes. the biggest action you can take. Yep. And I will tell you this, I'm never going back. That's awesome. See, and that's the confidence. That's it. And that's how you know, and because because you are that person now. Like yeah. you've you've I, changed. Yeah. Something you I've changed learned, it up here. I can control that. I can control that narrative in my voice now. When you look back at a journal and you have said the same what every, Oh, y'all, this is, I mean, Maria was just talking about it. People yep. sit in her chair and they go to the negative every time. When I read that in my journal, that I was doing that every day that I wrote in my journal, I was beating myself up about eating. And I promise you, you're watching me or listening to me right now, and you're doing the same thing yeah. about yourself. If you were to sit and journal your internal thoughts every day, I promise you, I bet you they would lead with the negative. And y'all, I was doing it to my children too. Yeah. I was being negative towards them too. I'm what telling do you, mean? you. Give and me then an I saw the, that. Yeah, give me an example. Oh of that. yeah, I was being as hard as I was on myself. It I was taking it out on other people too. I was being hard on them too. Yeah. You can't help it. It's a habit. And when I read that about myself over and over and over, and let me tell you something. I love my kids. I love my husband. I know I wouldn't know that from listening to this episode, but I do. <laughs> but this is the thing. You, you, you get in the negative pattern. It's like Maria said, people sit in her chair, and they, everybody she says this is in her chair goes to, no one sits down and goes, you know what? I love this. I'm having a great hair day. It's some wonderful times. We don't like know how to embrace. Uh, we yeah. know how to embrace and celebrate the struggle. That's yep. what we know. We have to work hard to redirect and make the decision to do better, yes. especially you know, when it comes to ourselves. And you know, it's something actually that has changed my life from this show. And I forget which episode it was, man, I wish I could remember. Someone said mm. um, that you, your self-talk should only be things that you would be willing to say out loud to someone else. Like so much of no. our self talk about I fail. ourselves, I fail. Is so negative. And if you it's said so that out loud to someone else, it would be like, "Please never talk to me again. I'm leaving. Go. I don't ever want to see you." Social, again. That's why social media is so negative. Mm -hmm. That's why. That's why. I, I, if, if I unlocked and put a camera in most people's homes, it's not going to be poly positive people. Yeah. We, we talk to our kids negative too. I do. I'm guilty. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Because it is so much easier to do that. And on top of that, we've done it to ourselves so much. What you put in comes out. I'm telling you, what you put in comes out. When people say you are what you eat, you are what you eat, but you are what you speak. Yep. You are what you see. Oh. Oh, boy. Well, this all goes to like, this all goes to manifesting. This is all of it, right? Wrapped up together. You, what you look at. And what you constantly putting through your eyes is going to come out your mouth. It's going to come out your life. What you I, And I'm preaching to the choir here. Don't think I'm sitting here pointing at you, preaching to you. I'm preaching Jack or whoever. I'm preaching to myself. Yeah. What you speak, you're going to see. Well, and that's the thing you about this show. You are what you eat. You are what you speak. You are what you see. You are what you say. Here's the thing about this show. We, we are working through this stuff. We are working through it right now. I'm working like, through it. Like, I don't know about everybody else, but I am. It's not necessarily that easy answer. It's just something that we're trying to figure out. So you're on the ride with us. So if you want to like have a question for Kim, if you want to find something out, if you have questions about what we've talked about, like let us know. Leave us a review or you can email us. You can send us a note on our website, kimgravelshow.com. We read all of them and we try to respond to all of them as quickly as we can. Although, man, we've gotten a lot of mail recently. So it's going to take a minute to get back to everybody. But these things matter and you get to be part of the conversation with this show. So send us a line.
Thank you so much for listening. I hope this is encouraging. I hope what Maria said was encouraging. And and yeah, we go to the negative, but we don't have to stay there. That's the beautiful thing about we can redirect. Try all of Maria's products. I use them. They're fantastic. Um, They're made with love and made from her heart and they're made from scratch. (laughs) I love that. Until (laughs) next time, know that we love you. We believe in you and let's level up our lives. And I'm so blessed that we get to do it together. Till next time, I'm Kim. I'm Zach. Bye. It's not necessarily. Hold on, I think the I think the cleaner is here. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, McCool, Callista McCool, Laria McCool. I'm telling you, I don't know my butt from the hole in the ground. I am just flying by the seat of my pants. <gasps> you my kids, I want to ship off to boarding school, <laughs> and I'm. I, I do know why the English now do that. I get it. <laughs> Completely get it. Oh totally get it. I love me Maria. I love me some Maria. <laughs>